Isn't that incredible? I see future um, uh, compo composing here for the movies or uh, uh, symphonies. I think that's just incredible how, like, when it, uh, I've always heard, and I know that they do this, how they have the blind auditions. Uh, you know, whenever the they're um, trying to rehearse or or to audition, right? Yeah. Audition. And in a sense, if you think about it, the art here, what we did, it was also blind because we didn't get to see, we didn't see the students' names. So in a sense, everything was, you were listening to uh, how the during was done or looking at the works of art or the art history essays. Um, but let me just, uh, how long have you been um, composing, uh, creating? Uh. That's a difficult question, actually. Uh, I've been composing seriously, not for actually very long at all, maybe. Um, I guess it's only been a year or two. Really? Uh, really, wow. but uh, amateurly, or actually, no, just kidding, this is all amateur. Um, no. no, but like, not so seriously. I've been composing since I was like 10, maybe, 
like just simple things for piano or whatever. whatever did you play? Did you play or compose knowing uh, just by ear, or did you actually know like the notes? Because I know I. Um, well, funny thing, I started playing the piano when I was five, but I didn't actually really learn how to read music until I was twelve. So wow. I had that awkward so overlap of like two years where I sort of played everything I did by ear. Somebody else in your family also a musician? Um, Music, yes, my please? mother is Oh, great. Is she here tonight? And she is in the audience tonight. Can you raise your hand? Huh? <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> Stand up. That's a great... Well, thank you for introducing him. That's... You know, there's always somebody behind, a great, they say, those great artists. You know, they was a parent or a, somebody that inspired them. So, I mean, yes. that's great. Now, what would you say, what was your inspiration in creating this composition? Well, um... We have a family cottage in Canada, and um, the piece is titled Miss because I wanted to represent, since it's a very special place for all of us in the family, that I wanted to represent just how the river in front of the cottage felt in the mornings. It's mm -hmm. in the summer, in the mornings, it's blue sky reflecting across this calm river. It's, it's like a mirror. but. On some mornings, you'll see a fog and sort of like a mist, I, I mm -hmm. guess. And um, to me, I wanted to just try to give some sort of sense of what it felt like to be enveloped by a landscape with a forest running right into this calm river and, and how it felt mm -hmm. in the mornings. And, and you can definitely experience, feel yeah. it, because I know that I felt that calmness, and then I said, okay, something is, uh, is also at the suspense and yeah. all that. Is uh, there a particular composer or musician uh, who uh, you have been inspired by? And if um, so, I guess I've been inspired to write solo works by um, a violinist named Eugène Isai, and yes. um, he was a Belgian violinist, and he... He was a modern composer, but he um, he wrote a lot of solo works for the violin, and his sonatas were, oh my gosh, if you haven't listened to them, they're just incredible how they express so many different voices at the same time, um, how he gets his expressions out. It's just indescribable almost, and I tried to sort of emulate his style, but of course I'm not as experienced as he was, so I, I couldn't do much in Just that keep way. practicing. You're yeah. gonna get there. You are there. <laughs> have have uh, both of you played together? Any uh, compositions? Uh, um, your mom? Probably not. I, she, she was mm -hmm. a violinist in high school, um, oh. and she decided, I guess, to um, force me to do music, but, well. But now you're glad not, you did. No, 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 sorry, not so much force. <laughs> I, encouraged, encouraged. That, <laughs> encouragement is the perfect word to use it. I'm sorry, that, no, that's okay. um, no, 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 no. Um, but she, I guess, more encouraged me to mm -hmm. study rather than perform together. That's great. And did you know, so, and how does it feel to have your composition displayed and available as a smartphone stop at the DMA? You know that all of you have their smartphones. You, uh, you can put dmamobi.com, dot org, and uh, you'll, you put the number, the stop that's on there, and you can download that for free. So you should send, that's a great way to advertise, by the way. You can send your little link, <coughs> send it to all your friends, and uh, they can, let's see how many, how many downloads we have. Oh, those, but that's a great way. And even with the art history essays as well. So how does that feel to have your it's absolutely number one seller? terrifying. <laughs> um, well, if you could tell, I recorded this piece by myself, and um, it's hard to not feel a sense of judgment in the lightest sense, because um, I, I did record this on my phone, and I realized afterwards that probably wasn't the best idea since the quality didn't come out, right? And I'm honestly a very nervous person when I it comes tell. to people, and I, I guess I shouldn't be, but, so calm. Um, but, <laughs> but when it came to this being like 
presented here, I, I kept on thinking to myself, like, oh my goodness, like, what are people going to think about this? Like, what if that note that I played wasn't good? But overall, mm -hmm. it feels like, I guess, a sense of accomplishment that I'm trying to convey something to a larger sense of people. And in that sense, it's pretty awesome. Alongside that, let me tell you, you said that you're trying to achieve and, and you feel that maybe you're not there. When I was installing this exhibition the first day, a lot of the, uh, just from adults to families, uh, curators would come and they would ask me, where are these works, where are these works from? And I would immediately tell them, oh, these are advanced placement, student art, music, and art history. And they were all impressed and they would say, it really looks like a professional, like artist, like as, you know, established artists have created these. And they would listen to the compositions, you know, because by then we had the stops and all that. So they said that. Second day I'm installing, everybody's always asking the same questions. The young master sign, all the signage was not up. And they would come and ask me, and I would say, where do you think they're from? I decided to ask them. And I had everything from, this looks like an international art show with a music that's maybe inspiring the works of art to where, what country were these artists from, but never did they say students. So I think, that, I think that's something that should be said is that your work and what you've, you've created has inspired many, but at the same time, you know, without like I said, having those blind auditions, not that it, you imagine, imagine when you go, go finish uh, high school and uh, what the possibilities are. I think it's just gonna be immense. And let me, let me just continue here, because I know I'm taking, uh, how has music changed or influenced your life? Um, music has actually taught me some valuable lessons, including like time management, most importantly, mm -hmm. because I have to fit in practicing and schoolwork and composing and stuff. Fitting all those in has been a struggle, but adding music to my life definitely has taught me to manage my time a lot better. Um, but also, um, learning how to practice effectively and how to compose effectively, I guess you could say, even though I don't consider myself an effective composer, but um, has taught me how to study for school, actually because I wasn't so much into studying for classes before, but once I realized how to practice right and how to make everything as perfect as I could be, it really taught me how to apply that to school and stuff, and that's really changed my life, I guess. Congratulations. And then just one more question. How has the college board, the AP Advanced Placement Music Theory course, prepared you as a composer and a musician? Um, it's actually changed me a lot. When I made compositions before I started taking music theory, or AP music theory, um, I didn't really have any focused ideas at all. They were all sort of like scattered around, couldn't figure out how to fit them together. And taking music theory and going through a semester's worth of part writing um, has actually taught me to make my ideas more cohesive in the manner that Bach would or um, uh, somebody who was writing chorales or something, the thought process of putting the music together in that manner has made my ideas more cohesive. That's Thank it. you. Is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience? Uh, mm -hmm. I think I've taken up plenty of time. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. You're too modest. And thank you, Mom.